What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's up, guys? How you living out there? Lost in Vegas coming back after the unbiased real reaction, baby. Right. Shout out to our free thinkers. And our patrons. And patrons. This now the early, early access, access video. Yes, early access vid. Yeah. You guys have been kind of... Uh, the Yvette brothers. Yes. You guys have been hitting us up with the Yvette brothers. No hard feelings. I would say, especially on Facebook, this has been the biggest request on Facebook specifically. Uh, for probably the last three months, this has gained some steam. A lot of you have kind of picked this up. And definitely in the comment section as well. And Twitter, of course. But Facebook seems to be the biggest platform for this specific request. You guys said these guys are more like folk, Americana, so um, that, that's what they okay. told us. Okay. Now, guys, so what we've been doing as of recent, <laughs> amidst all of the blocks that we've been receiving, um, we've uh, you, you, YouTube yeah. does have this tool. YouTube has this tool that kind of allows us to see what videos are just, that the labels or the artists refuse to even let be seen, yes. period, on YouTube. And it's been a big help to us. This song, No Hard Feelings, came up on that completely blocked list. So, we are going to do this one because we know it's a big request and we want to take care of our subs and you know we we appreciate you guys supporting us. We will be we'll, we'll bite the bullet and do this one, but this but will be edited heavily. heavily. Super. So, you know, let's 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 give it a shot, but just want to give you guys a heads up on that. So, let's get into it. The Avet Brothers, No Hard Feelings. When my body won't hold me anymore And it finally lets me free Will I be ready? Y'all gonna do this again? <laughs> again? <laughs> Alright! Yeah. <laughs> Let me put on my strength face. <clears throat> when I lay down my fears My hopes and my doubts With no Yeah, you know, it's uh when it's time to go into that light. Yeah. <laughs> when it's time to take that walk down the death road. I just made that up and I know it yeah. sounds good. <laughs> he sounds really, really good. I mean I love his voice. But it is sad. It's it sad. sounds like it's crushing. Like it's like he's like going through like, you know, a hard time, you know, when when my feet won't walk another mile. You know, when you've done all you can do, right? And my lips have given their last kiss goodbye. He didn't say it like that, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. It's like, it's just like, man, I'm- He didn't sound like James Brown. Yeah. <laughs> kiss goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like, you know, I've, I've done all I can do, you know, you know, no hard feelings, you know? Every, every scene in a movie where someone is on their deathbed, <laughs> <laughs> this song will be playing it. Yeah. <laughs> this is appropriate for every scene, man. This is, it is, it is sad. <laughs> yeah. But well written. Well written. Yep. So let's keep it going. When the jealousy fades away and it's ash and dust for cash and lust and it's just hallelujah. Hard feeling. Sing it, boy. Sing it. That's right. Go ahead, pause, man. Go ahead, sing that again, dude. No. You, you, was on, you was on point, man. You get boy. taste. <laughs> Demo coming, though. <laughs> Dropping that mixtape, baby. <laughs> nah, um, <laughs> folk style. Nah. Right here when he said, um, you know, when jealousy fades away and it's ash and dust for cash and lust and it's just hallelujah and love and thoughts and love and words, love and the songs they sing in church and no hard feelings. So, I thought it was beautiful. But that, if you are on your deathbed, or at least I guess I'm speaking for myself, I want to leave this world with, with peace, at peace. Yes. And I would like to leave this world ideally with none, of the, with none of that weighing on my chest. And I think that that's like a selfless thing. Absolutely. You know, to be able to say, you know what, especially if it's someone close to you, a family member, and you, you guys are like, you know, at odds for whatever reason, I think it's a selfless act for them. Because if you leave this earth, you know, especially if it's someone close to you, man, and you guys have some unresolved issues, yep. it's a burden on them throughout their yep. life, throughout the rest of their life. And that can manifest itself into as, as depression and how they deal with other people. Yep. So for you to say, you know what, I'm at peace for you, you know, and for them, I think that that's just an amazing thing. And it's tough to do. It's tough to forgive. Yeah. You know, depending on <laughs> depending on what happened or what transpired between you and this person, it is a very difficult thing to say, you know what, Regardless of what's happened, you really shit it on me. <laughs> but we should just let bygones be bygones and let's be at peace. You yep. know? So I thought that the, the writing no is. No hard beautiful. feelings. No hard feelings. Yep. Lord knows they haven't done much good for anyone. That's true. You're writing again? Yep. 
No hard feelings. He said to follow that up, he said, Lord knows they haven't done much good for anyone. Yep, hard kept feelings. Me, kept yep. me afraid and cold mm -hmm. with so much to have and hold. And you know what, man? At the end of the day, um, when, you, when you talk about people, when you have animosity towards someone, it's only hurting you, really. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I mean, I think for all parties involved, he's saying, Lord knows it hasn't, it hasn't done much good for anyone. Right? right? So, all parties involved, it, it's just do at the end of the day. What, what, what are we holding on to? You Dude, know? You ever, ever this is such an introspective song, man. I'm yeah. about to start crying. And, uh, that's what they do. <laughs> I'm about to go make up with my stepmama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great song, though, man. Yeah, man. Let's, get, let's get back to it. When my body won't hold me anymore, where will I go? Will I join with the ocean blue or run into a savior true? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, right? And shake hands. I gotta stop it again, man. Where would I go? Will the trade winds uh, take me south through Georgia grain or tropical rain or snow from heaven? That's beautiful. Will I join the blue ocean or run into a savior true? Yeah, man. That's you know beautiful. I mean? Beautiful. Because I, love, I think I we all writing. we all have that that kind of thought. Like, what where do you really go, right? No matter what you believe, right? It's like you know, it's it's interesting, right? To think of of what may be the afterlife, right? What the afterlife may hold. That's right. You know, and um, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I love it. Great writing. just making me think of all of the times I've had you know I was at odds with people anyone and it really consumed you like it consumed you you know what I'm saying especially if you got into a fight you ever get into a fight and that's all you can think about you're so like you can't think about nothing anything. else <laughs> a girl tries to console you hug you like get away from me don't yeah. touch me yeah. and it's like that for me it's like days and yes. it takes me days to kind of calm down and yep. get back into sort of just amped. any state of normalcy. Exactly. Yep. You know what I mean? So even with, you know, not even just fighting, but if you're at odds with your spouse or if you get in an argument with your girl, it just impacts. <laughs> it consumes you. <laughs> it impacts true. every facet of your life. So when I look at these lyrics and it says, you know, Lord knows they haven't done much good for anyone. You know what I mean? These hard feelings. I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about what hard feelings do yeah, absolutely. to you psychologically and what stress does to you, you know, in terms of health. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On every level. Yep, you're right, man. Yeah, or like you know? that dude that like cut you off this morning in traffic. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Especially in like, yes, yes. Yes, that <laughs> mother No, I'm just joking. <laughs> that shit sticks with me, dude. Yeah. I follow somebody. For, never mind. All right, moving on. Yeah, Rick, just the lyrics really um, you know, giving us some really good dialogue here. Let's finish it up. Good as it's been. That was a good song. It was, man. It really was a beautiful song. It was. I mean, I, I don't know how, how you can deny that one. Now I know sty stylistically it may not be for everyone. Yeah. In terms of the pace of the song and the sadness, of course, in the song. Because it is sad. It is. You know, but it's also beautiful in that it's um, really just promoting peace. You know what I mean? It's promoting a selfless act, in my opinion. I think it's what it's telling yeah. you. To, you know, when you are about to leave this earth, man, don't have any hard feelings, man. You know, any, any sort of... Um, Issues that you have with anyone that's close to you in your life, your family members, even if people aren't your family yep. members, because he said he has no enemies. Yep. So even your enemies, bury the hatchet, man. Leave this world in peace. And I think that's just, yep. I think that's incredible. And I think that that's um, inspiring, you know, because I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working, I'm I think working everyone's on not holding on grudges and, and, and all this other stuff. You know, as a person, that's one of the things that I can learn is forgiveness. And I, I struggle with that, you know what I mean? Because when someone is disloyal or, you know, disrespects me, I, I really hold that for a while. So that makes me yeah, want to become a, a, better, a better person, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think it was, it was a beautiful song, man. It, it, it's, it's a hard listen to me, though. I think it, it because of the sadness and the pace of it, it's, uh, I would have to be in, in a mood. I would probably need some kind of... Uh, Serenity is what comes to mind. <laughs> I would need some kind of inner strength, you know, something th this would kind of put me in a place where maybe I should listen to the, you know, the Yvette brothers, uh, <laughs> no hard feelings, because I'm about to do 
something crazy, this person just yeah. did something bad to me. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> it puts it in perspective for me. That's probably the, the mode I would have to listen to that in. And I'm usually not like that, guys. But yeah. but if that was to happen, I'm glad I got this in the arsenal now. <laughs> yeah. So I can pull from that. So. Excellent writing. I thought they sounded good vocally, and apparently, obviously, they're all brothers. So that's that's mm -hmm. awesome. And brothers fight, man. Yeah, so right. maybe, maybe that's what, what gave them fire, motivation. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta really figure some shit out. Exactly. We, can't be, we can't beat each other up every day. Exactly. We gotta have a no hard feelings clause. Or something. <laughs> So guys, that's the end of the video. If you uh, like that video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Absolutely. And also, we have our Patreon channel. Uh, the link's in the description for that. You will receive early access to our content if you are interested. This is Lost in Vegas. George, Ryan, we out.